Alrighty, 1045 this morning. We are back at it in the kitchen. I'm sorry, Hi. Perry, Perry. I feel like I was like five, four, three, two, one. That's okay. Here we are. But you already have, you're rocking and rolling with things this morning. Thanks. You have quite the spread here. You have Me too. a couple things simmering. And we, then I was about to try to name this fruit. Now I have no idea. Or this, this is, a, yeah, it's a spaghetti squash. And that's oh. it's perfect timing. And we're doing great because it looks more complicated than it is. This is super simple, actually. Now, yes, I've seen this before, and I, in fact, have been intimidated by it because I feel like you have to have one of those kind of machines that slices it up for you. Oh, no, no. Oh. This is So this is how, what a spaghetti squash looks like. Okay. Good news, they're on sale this week at Kroger. Yay. And um, all you do is slice it in half with a sharp knife, and just be careful. It's kind of like if you were cutting, like, a pumpkin or something. It's that kind of a, it's a squash. Gotcha, okay. And then the inside looks like this, and there are seeds, mm -hmm. and you just just take a spoon and you scoop out the inside just like if you were doing just a like cantaloupe a, yeah. or anything else. Sure. Then this is how it works. So we put a little bit of olive oil, maybe like a teaspoon or half teaspoon. Okay, in each of the halves? In each of the halves okay. and we rub it all around and we also do the edges. So oh, right, so that way they don't and we sprinkle and get too dry. Um, garlic salt or garlic powder, a little salt and pepper. Okay, so just a little bit. You're not trying to like coat it or right, anything right. like that. Okay. Just a light flavoring. Sure. And you can do as many as you want to do and we turn them all upside down on a foil lined oh. baking sheet and you do it at 375 okay. for about 30 to 40 minutes Okay. and then they'll be done. And this is what they're going to look like. Yes, I need to see the finished product. This is a reveal. Okay. Look at this. So I've never seen anything like this before. We turn them over. Oh, that's beautiful. And um, Normally, yeah, if you, you have a fork, a lot of times you can just scrape it up, but you'll see it looks like spaghetti strands yeah. in there. Oh my goodness. So what you do then, we're going to stuff these. So what we have is we have a um, sausage with tomato sauce, and we're going to do a little ricotta. And then here we have um, mushroom, and we're going to add, you can go ahead and add the spinach. Okay, full thing? Whole thing. Okay. And it, kind of it'll wilt yes, very quickly. quickly. It'll be super beautiful. And then what we'll do is, so for this one, I'll just put a little, just for the sake of visual. Now, do you want to, once those are cooked, uh -huh. do you want to kind of start scraping it so that it does become shredded, or do you want to serve it in full? That's a great question. So I will scrape it a little bit before I add the filling. Okay. Then I go ahead and I put the filling in, and this is ricotta, so okay. it's, it's a vibe kind of like a little lasagna y. Yes. And then but you're saving it because not the carbs. Right, right? no uh, carbs. Yes. We put cheese on top. And so for this one here, we would go ahead and add our Alfredo sauce, which okay. is right here. Okay. And this just goes in. And so once we get the mix, we would fill up the other one. You put this all the in? The whole thing. Okay. Uh-huh. And that'll just get nice and cheesy oh, and melty. Oh. So that's a great filling, like a vessel for these. So we oh, would do that. all these. Then what happens? I'm gonna show you the finished product here. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. So this will be exciting. So, Perry, you're teaching me all sorts of new things this morning. So let's close. This is really hot. Again, I've only seen the things on, you know, on social media and the like, where they have um, they put their squash on a thing and it kind of comes out with ribbons. Well, right. You can spiralize them and make yes. like zoodles. They call them like zucchini noodles or yes. different noodles. Okay, that's. So oh, this okay. is the finished product. So this baked another like 15 or 20 minutes. Just really, the sauce is hot and everything's cooked through. We're just kind of melting the cheese and making mm -hmm. it beautiful. Oh, Mary, a little bit. This is a great like dinner party w with the yes. French with the French garlic bread. Yes. And this. And it's so good. I love that too because it's it, it has that creative, that unique element, right. right? You're not just going toward maybe your typical lasagna, which is always good, but this is elevated. It's a, like eating healthy, but also you get the yumminess of the filling. And you can yes. adjust the filling. Like if you're not a fan of mushrooms or yeah. you like a different vegetable, make a broccoli and cheese one or make it a chicken and Ooh. parm one. I so absolutely the sky's the limit. But really these spaghetti squash are a great vehicle for getting vegetables into your diet. And yes. also a lot of times it's very mild and flavor, your kids probably will enjoy it. It's very much like spaghetti. Yes, I, I love it too. And yeah. again, it's like you said, very colorful, right? So you know that yes. you're getting all the good uh, vitamins and they're like, okay, Carrie right. Perry, where can people find this recipe? Blue Ribbon Favorites Perfect. on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest, and on the Fox 19 website, you'll see the recipe. So definitely okay. follow so you never miss a recipe. I tell you what, because this was seriously, you are going to be like your neighbor's new favorite person if you have them over and These, fix this for thank them. Thank you. Perfect. These are really, I just want to make it so easy. Yes. It's not hard at all. We just did it right here in the studio today. Love so. it. Carrie Perry, always appreciate you, thank you. Uh, being in here. And Ethan, I know that you're going to have to come over and get a bite, but that forecast first.